Hello everyone and welcome back to Minerva. I'm Whitney and today we're going through my top 10 women's jersey top patterns. <laughs> So these are 10 patterns that are meant for knit jersey fabrics. Um, we're going to be covering some t-shirt weight as well as some heavier sweatshirting slash jumper sweater kind of type weight um, and patterns to go with those as well, obviously. Now remember, always down below, all of the patterns and fabrics that I have chosen for the patterns are all tagged down below. So if I've picked a color that you're not really crazy about, you can go to the product page by just clicking on there and it'll take you to, um, take you there and you can look at all the different colors that are, um, available in that particular fabric. Also, you can click those down below and just add them straight to your cart as well if you um, really like the colors that I've picked to go with the particular pattern. So it's very easy. Um, and when you go to the different product pages, you can also see what other people are making with both those patterns and those fabrics. So that's what's great about um, our new site is that it's very easy to see what other makers are making and become just inspired. It's a rabbit hole you can just kind of fall down to. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I have 10 patterns, so um, let's not waste time. All right, the first one that I have picked is the Grainline Studios Lark Tee. Now, I love this one. This one is a t-shirt pattern that is a little bit looser fitting. Um, it's not quite as, uh, you know, tight to the body. Uh, I think it's nice to have both a loose fitting t-shirt and a, a more fitted t-shirt in your um, pattern, your sewing box, if you will, uh, just because there's different applications for both. You know, I like, um, you know, wearing them alone, but then, um, you know, wearing them as layering pieces and that sort of thing. I think that the having one of each is a very uh, good thing. So with the Grain Line Studios, I've got a computer here <laughs> that I'm looking at that, um, so I don't mess any of the information up. It comes with four different necklines and four different sleeve lengths. So you're getting a big bang for your buck on this one. It's been around for a while. It's kind of been a cult favorite, but man, it's, it's a really good one. And for this one, I like a little bit of drape. With the looser fitting t-shirts that aren't quite as um, tight to the body, I like a little bit of drape in those fabrics just so they don't get too boxy. And what I've chosen for this one is a bamboo jersey knit fabric. It comes in quite a few colors. I've picked the decade color just because I think it's a really beautiful neutral. Um, it's a color that's great, just as great in the springtime summer as it can be in the fall and winter. Nice muted color. Um, and it's a, I feel like greens and blues just look good on most color tones as well. Uh, skin tones. So yeah, I, I went with the duck egg on this one. Gorgeous pairing. All right, next we have the Friday Pattern Company Adrian Blouse. I mean, if you've been anywhere in the sewing community for any amount of time, you've seen a million of these. The sleeve on this pattern is so good. And the wide open neckline is so gorgeous and so framing and just it lends itself to a beautiful um, print. But you could go a different, a couple of different ways just to really accentuate those big sleeves. Now, for my own preferences, I like something with a little bit more drape just so those sleeves don't overcome me. I'm a little bit top heavy, so I'm a little bit of an inverted triangle. Um, so I prefer not to have too much going on on my upper body um, just to help balance out my own figure. But, you know, definitely if you're the opposite, you know, you may want to do something with a little bit more structure in your fabric. But I've gone with a Lady McElroy. Um, viscose crepe jersey knit and this beautiful um, navy background with the the green palm leaves. Great color combination. I actually have this fabric and have sewn with it. It sews up really, really nicely. And that crepe just gives um, a little bit of texture, but the viscose is, is nice and drapey so the sleeves don't become overpowering. So if that's something that you're wanting, you know, definitely uh, up for different preferences. But yeah, I think that a great combination of those two. All right, next, the Megan Nielsen Jara Sweater. Now this pattern has, let's see, two different necklines. So you have a banded neckline or a, like a, it's not really a cowl, it's more of like a turtleneck or a polo neck type um, collar. You've got, let's see, two, three different sleeves or two different sleeves, I guess. You have a cuffed sleeve and you also have a sleeve that is just open with a slash. You have four different hem lines. So you've got kind of a cropped one that has the little slits in the side. You've got one with a band. You've got one that's a little bit longer with a curve and then also one that ties. Now I have actually made this sweatshirt. Uh, it's really more of a sweatshirt, sweater type pattern, but I've actually made this in rayon jerseys and bamboo jerseys as well. And it works up beautifully in all of the above. I've made this, I think I've made all four versions actually, and it's fantastic. But for today, I have gone with 
this beautiful meat milk tinsel loop back French terry fabric Woo. <laughs> in the color amber. Now this is a French terry, so it's a little bit snugglier than just a plain old jersey, but because it's a tinsel, you're gonna have some beautiful drape. So I think that this fabric done with the little tie, in my own personal preference, I find that fabric with a little bit more drape works better for the tie. It just doesn't get as bulky and it's easier to tie, but that version is so cute. I've made a couple of those for my daughter in the past. She loves them. Beautiful. This fabric comes in a few different colors, so if you're not crazy about the bright yellow like I am, um, there are some different colors to go, but I think that this fabric would just really work well with that pattern. Um, yeah, and just give you the cute little tie detail without it just getting too bulky and adding too much to the waist or high hip area, which I don't think any of us want. <laughs> All right, next up, the True Bias Nico Top and Dress. Obviously this video is tops, so we're going, we're kind of leaning more towards the top variation on this, but this is a, um, a shorter, maybe a mock turtleneck, maybe you would call it, um, but it comes sleeveless or with a sleeve. So this is a great layering piece, I, I find. It's a very fitted um, pattern, but it is uh, fantastic for layering or wearing alone. Um, I think in the summer, made with the right, or warmer months, made in the right fabrics, uh, you could do the turtleneck with sleeveless version and it'd just be something different. Um, also give you a little bit of coverage from the sun, which, you know, I burned. So <laughs> that's something that I'm usually looking for, um, especially like on vacation when you've been out in the sun a little too long. But for this one, I have picked the Meat Milk Derby Tinsel Rib Knit Fabric in the color Puff. I love that color name. <laughs> Anyway, I've seen this pattern done up in rib knits before, and it's just a really beautiful pairing. Um, because it is fitted, having that little extra um, uh, stretch and then recovery that you get just inherently with a rib knit is perfect. This also is a tinsel, so it's got a little bit more drape, so it's not gonna be quite as um, tight as, say, a cotton spandex, you know, that would just really kind of suck you in. Uh, you would be a little a little bit looser, but still a fitted um, top. And I think in the tinsel, in the warmer months, if you wanted to do the sleeveless version, um, it would be cool enough to be able to wear in the warmer months. All right, moving right along. Okay, next up is the Cashmere Concord T-shirt. She has um, released this now in her full size range, which goes from a size zero to a size 32. Um, her older size range was a size 12 to a size 30. So she's expanded one size up and quite a few sizes down. This is meant for people with curves. I'm actually wearing a cashmere at Concord today. Um, and it's my favorite fitted t-shirt pattern. So if you've got curves and need the cup sizes, this is a fantastic pattern. <laughs> Um, she drafts for bustier people, people with more curve. Um, in fact, she drafts for more people with more of a waist delineation than I actually have. I usually have to grade out at least one size at the waist um, for my own typical body, but man, this is a good pattern if you are bustier. Um, she's got, let's see, three different necklines. She's got three different um, hem links and three different sleeve links. So it is just an all around fantastic, versatile, easy, um, pattern to have in your stash. It's my favorite fitted t-shirt pattern. And I have gone with, I love this uh, pattern. It's actually, I'm not wearing it in that fabric right now, but I have quite a few versions in this fabric and it is a cotton spandex, cotton lycra jersey knit fabric. This comes in a ton of colors. Now I've gone with the color soft red because I love a good warm red. It's one of my favorite power colors. Um, so, you know, I decided to pop that in as the color, but if that's not a, like your thing, there are a ton of colors in this fabric. I have sewn with this fabric. It is phenomenal. It has great recovery. Um, it's got great stretch. It is a, and again, I've made the Concord in this fabric before and it's a very beautiful pairing. So definitely have a look at that. Okay, next up we have the Soho 7 Tabor V-neck top. Now this top is got a little bit, it's got a drop shoulder. You can make it um, without a sleeve on it, which just gives it like a little bit of a cap sleeve since it's a drop shoulder. Or you can add the sleeve pattern piece on. It's a little bit of a boxier top, but it's got the fitted sleeve um, on there to give you some shape if you want to go long sleeve, or obviously your arm can kind of give you shape if you go with the shorter sleeve. Uh, it comes in a cropped version or a longer version with either a curved hem or um, a straight hem, but it's got uh, the slit, the um, slits in the side, <laughs> the side seam, which give you a little bit of extra room. Um, just a nice, easy, relaxed 
shirt. And I think that this is um, beautiful in all the different months and you can just style it little half tuck, so many different ways. So I've actually gone with a fabric that has a little bit more drape. I picked for this one the Robert Kaufman Cotton Modal Jersey Knit Fabric in the color navy blue, which is just your standard, a good neutral color. And the Cotton Modal, I like it because the cotton helps keep shape. So with that V-neck, you're not gonna get the stretched out U-neck, you know, where a V-neck goes into kind of a U eventually. The cotton really helps hold that. And it's got Lycra in it, so, um, let me see, what's the... Oh no, it doesn't, it's just a cotton modal. So, um, yeah, just the cotton modal. But the cotton will help keep that um, V-neck nice and um, in shape, but the modal, part of it gives it some nice drape. So if you were to use just a straight cotton lycra or cotton jersey, um, it could get boxy really, really easy. But you throw the modal in there and that gives a nice drape so that things aren't standing too far away from the body. So you are getting some shape. I think that would be a beautiful pairing. And this comes in a ton of colors too. If you want something a little more exciting or if navy's not your thing, there's a lot of colors for that one. Okay, next up is the Deer and Doe on D sweater. This is an adorable cropped sweater. It sits at the natural waistline. If you're someone that likes to um, be nipped in at the waist or accentuate your waistline, perfect. So if you want to wear this with skirts or high-waisted pants or over um, fit and flare dresses, if you're doing for layering, this one would really, really has you covered. It has a beautiful scoop neck. You can do long sleeves, you can do short sleeves. Um, the short sleeves are really cute. And then it's got a beautiful little collar that you can also make, which I think is just adorable. So uh, yeah, there's a few different options on this one. But I have gone with the Meat Milk Two-Toned Tinsel Ponte Roma Double Knit Fabric in the color Maroon. Now, t I love tinsel. Tinsel is very similar to rayon, but it is made with recycled chemicals as opposed to, um, it's better for the environment because it's you, it recycles the chemicals that are needed in order to turn it into a fiber. So um, it is a natural source, but then it goes through um, the process like um, rayon and viscose in order to become a fiber. So <laughs> anyway, it's just a little bit better for the environment and um, it has a beautiful drape. So I think that the double knit Ponte um, way that this fabric is knitted basically is going to give it structure. So it's going to be a nice little um, warmer uh, throw over little sweater slash jumper. Um, but the drape I think is going to be beautiful for, you know, just so it's not, it just hugs the curves just a little bit better, you know, hugs the body a little bit better. Um, it, yeah, I love, I love tinsel. It's so lovely to work with and it's very breathable. Okay. Next we have the closet core ebony. I always get that confused with the Elodie. This is the Ebony dress and top. We're gonna to be talking about the top versions. So she's got um, one top version is just the dress version shortened and it's a beautiful little cropped swing top. It's got set in sleeves, a very fitted sleeve. So you, you get some shape again, because it is a swing top, not a lot of shape in the actual top, but she also has an option with a raglan sleeve and it's more of a tunic style top. Again, kind of a swing. It's got a little bit more of an asymmetrical um, hem and um, both of them beautiful. But you definitely wanna use something with a little bit of drape for this one, just so, you know, it's, you're not getting too much volume because there is so much volume in the actual pattern. So for this one, I have gone with the Luxury Viscose Jersey Knit. This comes in a ton of colors. It's actually, my Concord I'm wearing today is in this exact color, this exact fabric in this exact color. It's the Light Petrol. Um, this beautiful kind of teal color. It, again, beautiful drape. This is one of, you know, not all viscose and rayon jerseys are created equal. I've sewn with a lot of them, and this might be my favorite. Um, it's a little bit drier viscose jersey, so it's, you know, sometimes it, that viscose and rayon jerseys can get just a little shiny, um, and it's washing and wearing beautifully. It's not pilling. Um, so I'm a big fan, big fan of this, this fabric, but this has just a great amount of drape. So when you're making a swing top, you're not going to get too much volume around the body. It's just going to hang really beautifully. So even if you are bustier, I think you can still pull off the swing top in the drapier fabric. I've made that pattern for my daughter before. It's really cute. Okay. Next up. Simplicity 8925. Now this is, uh, let's see, it's got a dress, a top, a skirt, and a pants. One of those really good bang for your buck, uh, kind of wardrobe um, in a pattern type of things, but 
I have made this top. It is a wrap top. It is meant for knit fabrics, but you don't need really any stretch at all in your knit um, or very little. So it, you can use knits with a little more stretch, but I used, um, when I made mine, an organic cotton jersey that didn't have any stretch in it hardly at all, and it worked beautifully. So this has um, a great sleeve on it, kind of a, a grown-on wide sleeve with, um, you know, a little bit of a peplum because it's a top, a wrap top. It's just so flattering. I love I love the top that I made out of this. And for the fabric on this, this may be one of my favorite fabrics because it's not something that I've seen really anywhere else, but it's an embroidered cotton jersey knit fabric. So this is an eyelet fabric and made in a jersey. It's amazing. I've picked it in color coral, but there are other options if you want to go over there and have a look. But this would be so gorgeous with that big sleeve. You could wait and see if you needed to line the top um, on how the placement of the eyelets are, or if they're just sporadic enough, you may be, because it's a wrap top, you might be able to get away without having to do any kind of lining on the front. You know, you're, you're overlapping layers. So yeah, just kind of play it by ear. It'd be easy to interline just the bodice if you needed to. But yeah, having those sleeves complete, those big sleeves, oh, I, yeah. I, this would be a really a really good fabric and um, top pattern or pairing just just really good it's just such an interesting fabric all right and finally I have the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt and dress if you're looking for cozy I mean it doesn't get much cozier than this the dress has pockets but the top is just your basic standard um, sweatshirt slash sweater slash jumper whatever you want to call it type of pattern it's got a beautiful um, bishop sleeve with like a puff shoulder, which are very trending right now. Or you could make just the regular standard sleeve, which is just a standard set in sleeve. Um, I really love that bishop sleeve though. <laughs> and then it has a banded bottom. You can either use self fabric or you can use ribbing if you wanted to really play around. So I wanted to go cozy with this one. And I have chosen the Mind the Maker Organic Chevron Quilted Knit Fabric. I think quilted knit fabric is so beautiful and makes such a really, um, it's such an easy way to make yourself a sweater if you don't knit. Because <laughs> you get some of that texture and um, you know it looks kind of like a knitted item that isn't, that you've sewn much quicker. Um, anyway, I picked it in the color Peacock, which I think is a gorgeous dark teal color, which would be beautiful going into the cooler months. Very cozy, and you could also use this fabric um, for the cuffs and the band if you so desire, if you didn't want to use a ribbing or a contrasting fabric. It would work for that. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top 10 jersey top patterns for women and some fabrics that you uh, can use to make those up, give you a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of ideas. Don't forget, you can head over to all the fabric or the uh, product pages by just clicking right below this video. It'll take you right there, and you can see what other makers are making. That's the beautiful thing of our new site is that, um, yeah, we can really share and be inspired by all the other makers in the community. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I will see you next time. Bye.